Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by, I really appreciate it. Today we're going to talk about asteroids, comets, the differences and characteristics of them. Because basically, they're all coming from the same area, the Kuiper Belt. They're all just celestial objects, if you want, before they are termed or um, arrive near Earth's atmosphere. And obviously, depending on what trajectory they have, and they do have different tra trajectories, asteroids, to one another. Let's start off with the characteristics, a basic, simple idea of what an asteroid is. Basically, it's a smaller ob object, smaller than a planet, of course. It orbits the sun. It does orbit the sun when it arrives into the solar system before, for example, leaving on trajectory um, either by Earth or towards Earth, etc., wherever it's going. Uh, they come in sizes from, from uh, they can be just a few feet across to several miles, kilometers. Some of the largest asteroids are so big, they've been called planetoids. And planetoids are smaller than planets, but bigger than asteroids. The largest asteroid known so far is named Ceres. Yes, Ceres is an asteroid and it is 950 kilometers wide. Space is filled with rocks and lots of matter that is left over, they say, from the Big Bang 4.5 billion years ago. And apparently none, so science say, of this debris whether it be asteroid, comet, meteorite, meteors, um, planetoids, none of these apparently, as if they would tell us, but they say that none of these are currently on a collision course with Earth. But we do know that stuff has hit Earth in the past, obviously, and it will again in the future. Now let's take a quick look at what a comet is. A comet basically is an icy ball of rock that grows a tail when it travels close to the sun. Why? Well, it grows a tail because as comets heat up, gas and dust are forced from the body and trail behind it. The sun illuminates this trail, which causes it to glow. It's magnificent. Look at Halley's Comet, for example. The glow is visible in the night sky like Halley's Comet is when it goes by every so many, I don't know how many hundreds of years. And what we on Earth see is a streak of light, a flash going by like a falling star. Because basically a comet is a falling star. The way a comet orbits and the length of its orbit varies greatly from one comet to another. They can have a short period in orbit every few years, or a very long period in orbit every 100,000 years. Most of the shorter period comets come from the Kuiper Belt, a massive region of small objects, including Pluto, out beyond Neptune. The longer orbit comets come from the Oort Cloud. Remember the video I put up of the Oort Cloud? planetesimals very far out in the outer part of the solar system. I've gotten photos of these too. It's absolutely incredible seeing them in a photo and seeing the cloud, the Oort cloud. It's a massive cloud and there are lots of stars and planets there. Every year Earth sees a few comets basically. Some of these are comets we expect because they regularly orbit the Sun on a regular basis. Uh, the other are new comets that have never been seen before. The best known comet, like I said before, is Halley's Comet. It last appeared in 1986 and will appear again in 2061. So I hope to live to see Halley's Comet. It has been seen every 76 years since 240 BC. And, of course, the meteor. Meteors are known as shooting stars also, don't forget. 
small pieces of rock and debris that have entered the Earth's atmosphere. They strike the atmosphere at high speeds. I've seen some. I've seen two or three in my lifetime. And I saw one very recently, last month, during April. Straight as a board, a bit higher than a plane, if not at the same uh, level as a Boeing would be going on a long trip. And I'm telling you, the speed was at least 10 to 15 times, if not quicker, than um, a plane. It was astonishing. And they burn up. And debris that have entered the atmosphere, well, they strike the atmosphere at high speeds, where friction causes them to burn up. Most meteors are the size of a pea or smaller and completely burn up before reaching the surface. Occasionally, larger meteors strike the surface, and their remains are called meteorites. To be a meteorite, you have to actually pass, it has to actually pass through Earth's atmosphere from the Kuiper Belt and land on the surface of Earth. Then we're talking about a meteorite. According to NASA, scientists estimate that between 1,000 and 10,000, no, not meteorites, but tons of meteoritic material enters the atmosphere. No, not every year, every day. So, now we know that meteor, meteoroids, and meteorites, the characteristics of them and their dis differences. Uh, most meteoroids burn up in the atmosphere. This creates a bright streak of light called a meteor. Meteors are also called shooting stars. If a meteoroid survives its fall and reaches Earth's surface, it is a meteorite. So, with that said, this beautiful celestial object beside our sun here in the solar system, um, viewing with the welding glass that uh, Crazy Penguin contributed, and he also sent up a solar filter, but the flooding here, and uh, we're having a lot of problems receiving the mail. It should be in shortly. Uh, thank you, Crazy Penguin. And, yeah, this is a beautiful shot of the celestial object beside the sun and its surface. Now look at this footage. This is an actual live view of an asteroid or a spacecraft. Look top left right here. It's dim. Just look at it. It's amazing. If it's an asteroid, it's traveling fast. Have you ever seen a planet move that fast? We have to be damn close to it. Now we're going to see it with my light technique. We could see this object emanating. You'll see the spherical shape of it. It is zooming by. Take a look at this. As it's going by, you will see the amazing shape of it. And this is actual speed. And you can see the speed going by. It's absolutely amazing. Look at it go by, top left there. It's going by, it's going to go over my roof, and going, going, gone already. Imagine the speed. This was just a couple months ago. Whether it be a craft or an asteroid, it did stop. I saw it slow down before crossing the corner of the house. How can that be if it's an asteroid? I'm not trying to jump the gun or tr people always think that you're trying to stir stuff up. Look at it. It's going to the corner of the house, slows down, and then goes across the house. How can it do that? This is proof again that there are either asteroids or crafts that are in the atmosphere of Earth that are zooming by over our heads all the time, day and night. What are some of the elements that asteroids have on the surface and in its inside of the asteroids? They're made up of oxygen and silicone, the number one and number two most abundant elements in the Earth's crust. The metallic asteroids are composed up 
of 80% iron, 20% a mixture of nickel, iridium, pal palladium, or palladium, pl uh, platinum, gold, magnesium, and other precious metals. What? Gold? That's right. And other precious metals, such as osmium, ruthenium, and rhodium. Thank you here for some of my French viewers. Premièrement, un gros merci pour les ceux de la langue française qui ont pris le temps de venir voir mes recherches, euh, de contribuer à la communauté en laissant des commentaires en français. Euh, je comprends la langue française. Euh, je suis parfaitement bilingue. Je parle anglais français. Merci beaucoup d'avoir pris le temps de, de contribuer à la communauté. Puis aussi, les, récemment, j'ai trouvé des structures sur la Lune et plusieurs autres planètes. Euh, si vous avez des questions sur donc les manières, comment est-ce que je produis ces vidéos, comment est-ce que j'ai trouvé ces structures, s'il te plaît, ne gênez-vous pas. Merci beaucoup.